Hi there. Well, as you all probably know, I collect box sets. Uh, some years ago, record companies decided they'd got to um, spend a little less on the actual containers. So they went from box sets. Uh, we all know what a box is, don't we? Um, to a book form of um, collections. This is one in, in point. It came out in 1994. Abba, thank you for the music. Well, I shouldn't imagine there's m many of us that don't know anything about Abba. Uh, this is a four CD set and uh, it, con it contains all their great hits and various other things. You'll see the number there. A limited, limited edition apparently. Um, I got this at quite a good price when it came out. Now, the sound is very good. And the book, unfortunately, I think it was originally um, meant to be stapled in and you, you flick through it. See, it's, it's quite... Oh, can you get there? There's quite a lot in here. Pictures of memorabilia, etc. Some great shots. I think they worked in, uh, the record company worked in conjunction with fans to have some memorabilia in there. Anyway, the sound is very good and uh, the content is very good. Nice picture of them in the studio together there. Um, Say, so unfortunately, it come out of the box. But the staples are still intact there. Um, in a way, it's a bit of a blessing because other ones that are actually stapled in, uh, they break away and it can damage the inside. This this doesn't seem to have really done that. That's the four CDs in there. If you look around, you can pick this up quite reasonably now. Some One of the things I like is where the numbers are, it's uh, picked up in gold lettering. Very, very good set this and uh, very enjoyable i've got i've got all the albums on cd um remastered ones they've been put out again but you know what else is there maybe a couple of extras here or there but still uh, once you've got it i think you've got it anyway and uh you can get to dvd of a lot of the tracks that are actually featured on here um I don't think I've ever owned that, which uh, kind of surprises me still. But as I say, it was fairly expensive when it first came out. But now, um, pick it up. Pick it up quite cheaply, actually, if you look on eBay. I'm not so sure about Amazon anyway, or if it's... I doubt it's actually being produced. The other one, in a similar vein, which I wanted to show you, Joe Cocker, The Long Voyage Home. Well, he's been a favourite artist of mine for a long, long, long time as Joe. See, track list there. This was put out by A&M Records in 1995. And uh, let me see if I can show you, show you the book. Some great pictures in of Joe. Um, first came across him really um, when he was doing with a little help from my friends but this is a good sprinkling uh, of songs throughout his career um, I've always found him a fascinating artist my wife doesn't like him doesn't like seeing him she doesn't like hearing him uh, but she doesn't like the movements that he makes she's uncomfortable with that for some reason or other now joe was born uh 20th of may 1944 in sheffield and he died in 2014 at the age of 70 70 in colorado now that's not much of an age these days and he died from a long battle with cancer anyway uh he was always a big big fan of ray charles who i am 
a big fan of as well both both artists no longer with us uh, he started out as uh, about the age of 17 as Vance Arnold sounds like one of those choky names doesn't it anyway uh, he he joined up with some other guys called the Avengers so it's Vance Arnold and the Avengers makes it sound a little bit more adventurous doesn't it and he did a cover on Decca uh, with the help of Big Jim Sullivan and Jimmy Page and it was I'll Cry Instead this was a track that was written by John Lennon and it's featured on the Hard Day's Night album the original recording uh, but you can you can still see that about and it's actually it's actually on here the original one was about 1 minute and 44 seconds great to hear now I have read something about um, a live recording of Vance Arnold and the Avengers that's that's uh, turned up after decades so I'll have to search that out and see what that sounds like see what the live recording is uh, like um, followed his career for a long while I've got a bigger box which is his latter career and that's very good I'll, I'll probably feature that sometime or other uh, I want to get some of the individual early albums as well uh, though self-titled one uh, of Joe Cocker and uh, a couple of other things and i've even got some on vinyl amazingly uh on uh, like a budget release so i'll try and dig them out so that i can show you um one of my memories of joe cocker is this uh in the early 70s uh, a friend of mine managed graham bond also no longer with us and uh we were down in london we used to go down to london and visit him and one night we were outside a North London pub and uh, this dishevelled figure was just alongside and it was Joe Cocker amazingly and uh, it looked really three sheets to the wind uh, if it was just booze anyway and he had a scruffy old pair of jeans and in his back pocket there was a piece of paper hanging out and my friend that managed Graham Bond said Joe this piece of paper hanging out your back pocket so he pulled it out and it this tatty piece piece of paper and it was actually a check for royalties for 25,000 pounds and the check the date on the check from the company wherever it came through from uh, it was six months it was either three or six months out of date so um, and he, he seemed to be oblivious to it so I don't know if he'd had the jeans on for that long anyway it was very friendly but uh, say three sheets to the wind and but the voice amazing though um, I can't think of anyone else that sounds like him and I've never heard of anybody that's done an impression of him anyway that's my two box sets and uh, I shall dig out some more and um, I can show you them well box sets book sets anyhow thanks for watching this if you've enjoyed it please click a like uh, on the YouTube bit and uh, also you might even wish to subscribe so have a great day anyway thanks very much bye